true closed thoracic vent has been designed for the treatment of spontaneous traumatic or iatrogenic simple pneumothorax. It can also be used for evacuating air from the chest following thoracic surgery. The thoracic vent comes in a procedure tray that is conveniently packaged in a sterile pouch. The pouch can be opened by peeling back the Tyvek strip. A sterile field is obtained by unfolding the CSR wrap. The tray comes complete with an iotaphor PVP swab stick, gauze sponge, and fenestrated drape, a 3cc syringe with a 25 gauge safety needle, a 21 gauge safety needle, 5cc of 1% lidocaine and scalpel, thoracic vent and trocar, a 60cc syringe and aspiration cannula and occlusion plug, and a suction tubing set. Now let's take a closer look at the thoracic vent. After removing the protective cover, the trocar may be introduced into the device through the self-sealing port. The point of the trocar should extend slightly beyond the tip of the catheter. An over-the-wire cannula can be purchased separately for introduction of the catheter using the Seldinger technique. The cannula is only available for the TV1113 thoracic vent. The thoracic vent includes a red signal diaphragm in line with the catheter. Fluctuations of the red signal diaphragm demonstrate entry of the catheter through the pleura and into the pleural cavity. A valved aspiration cannula is provided to allow manual air evacuation if desired. A suction tubing set is also provided for attachment to a water seal device or other suitable suction systems. The syringe activated port at the bottom of the vent allows for the aspiration of small amounts of fluid that may collect during therapy. The thoracic vent occlusion plug can be used to check for a continuous air leak from the patient's lung. To occlude the thoracic vent, insert and secure the occlusion plug to the lure lock on the self-sealing port. Once the physician determines that there is no continuous air leak present, then a radiograph can be used to confirm resolution of the pneumothorax and the vent can be removed. If the vent is to be left in place for further therapy, then the self-sealing port must be covered with the tethered cap after removing the occlusion plug. This radiograph shows a moderate pneumothorax in the left pleural cavity. Here is the suggested procedure for using the thoracic vent. A site is selected preferably at the second interspace in the midclavicular line. The site is prepared with iotaphor PVP. The fenestrated drape is utilized to isolate the operative field. Local anesthesia is administered in the selected site. A 3cc syringe with a 25 gauge needle and 21 gauge needle are provided. Using the provided scalpel, a small skin incision is made at the site. Grasp the thoracic vent in the most comfortable manner with the thumb or first digit over the trocar handle. Then position the device and gently introduce the trocar catheter assembly through the incision, staying immediately above the superior border of the lower rib. When the trocar tip perforates the pleural membrane and enters the pleural cavity, the red signal diaphragm deflects upward, indicating a pressure in the pleural cavity greater than plus two millimeters of mercury and deflects downward, indicating a pleural cavity pressure of less than minus two millimeters of mercury.
the signal diaphragm continues to fluctuate until the pneumothorax is resolved. The trocar is removed and the full length of the catheter is introduced into the pleural cavity. The silicone sponge material at the base of the catheter helps to provide a seal at the incision site. The covers on the side flaps of the adhesive patch are peeled away and the device is secured to the chest wall. This radiograph shows the position of the functioning thoracic vent catheter in the pleural cavity. This lateral radiograph demonstrates the compliance, conformability, and kink resistance of the thoracic vent catheter. This radiograph shows the patient's lungs still fully expanded after removal of the thoracic vent. This film demonstrates the advantages and superiority of the Uracil True Close Thoracic Vent. The device can be quickly and safely introduced under all conditions and settings and is a reliable technique for managing simple pneumothorax.